Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about um, skills that can get you hired in 2017. Now, uh, this article is a little bit old, but I think it's kind of re relevant again. And I, I, I remember looking at it last year, um, and it's uh, when it came out in October 20th. So, according to LinkedIn data, the most likely time you're supposed to get hired is in October. So we're coming up on that, and I imagine the months before that are pretty good as well. But um, all these skills are in demand. But we want to, I want to show you, and uh, this is going to be for the United States, but we're going to say the top skills because a lot of times people, they don't understand what jobs are entailed in those skills and what skills you need for jobs. So what we're, what we're going to talk about is just the pure skills. Forget relating it to a job, right? Forget relating it to... Uh, you know, a, a front-end developer, a back-end developer, UI, UX. We're going to just be talking about the general skills. And if you're uh, American, congratulations, I am American, and we're doing the U.S. version. But if you're interested in knowing your specific country, uh, they have it for they have it based off the LinkedIn in total. This one is the, uh, the global, which is pretty similar to to what the United States is. So we'll go over the global first. So from what you can see here, cloud and distributed computing. So a lot of you guys ask me, you know, is AWS important, is Linux important? It's so important that it was the top skill of 2016. So then you say statistical analytics and analysis and data mining. Again, another great area. And I, I, one of the reasons I wanted to talk about this was somebody today in my, my bootcamp video said that they wasted eight months learning web development because they didn't know other things like um, data analytics, AI, machine learning, all this, all these great technologies that existed. And he wasn't blaming me or anything. He just didn't know. And obviously, I'm going to preach about web development because that's what I know. That's what I do, and that's that's what I like. And, you know, I, I dib and dabble in other things here or there. But... Uh, one one thing you can see web architecture and development framework. That's that's why I'm so uh, it's the third most in demand skill in terms of just global categories. But what you what I want you to notice here is that of the top ten skills that are on here, middleware, user interface, network and information security, mobile development, data presentation, SEO, and what you're seeing by the way this plus and minus is uh, where in the top ten these ranked and if they if they got dropped out if they if they moved up if they maintain the same so between 2015 and 2016 web development jumped by plus six spots which is massive which is why i encourage people to get into it you know the, the previous uh top 25 jobs of 2017 based off of indeed full stack development which is web development was ranked number one and a lot of these other things were ranked in the top 25 as well but what you'll see about all this is that everything in here unless i'm misunderstanding storage systems and management but i might be i don't <laughs> but i think that's probably just servers if i had to guess and hardware everything in here is a a technical skill everything in here is in software technology and if you're not sure about what's for you I can I can I can say that everything in here is a good spot to to get into because you may not be interested in web development and that's okay but if you did get started in web development like the person uh, who uh, I'm talking about today don't sweat it man because that will help you get your your maybe your data analytics job because you it shows that you're interested in all this stuff right so a lot of that can play to your advantage so let's see how this differs for um for uh by country so if you're in australia <coughs> data mining's <coughs> a little bit higher up on the list and web development's all the all the way in eighth right so not brazil uh data mine uh, this that statistical analysis if you if you guys are interested in data science you it really is a great time to get in you're talking about uh a lot of job demand and it's a little bit harder i want to say because everyone i've met has had a, a a math degree or a stats degree or a <laughs> cs degree that goes into this space and it's a little bit more math heavy than it is being a developer like being a developer you, you traditionally probably need just good algebra skills. That would be, probably be what 90% of developers would tell you. Uh, but, especially in web development, anyhow. But, oh, HR. Why is HR so big in Brazil? Do the Brazilians have, like, really good uh, healthcare and stuff like that? That jumped five points. Um, 
But anyhow, Brazil, Canada. Uh, mobile development's up a lot in Canada, but again, you can see a lot of different... Uh, I wonder what this refers to. Software revision, like maintaining legacy code. Uh, China, virtualization is... Uh, I want to say that's more data analytics. Social media marketing, right here, baby. Plus eight. Jumping eight spots is pretty impressive. So, obviously, a big push of social media in China, if that's where you're from. Uh, everything looks kind of standard here. QA. France is doing more QA than... This didn't even make it. <laughs> this is how little America gives about a quality assurance. It didn't even make it on the list. Uh, if bad things happen, bad things happen. <coughs> Channel marketing. I wonder what that is. Uh, for Germany... India. And by the way, uh, if I haven't mentioned, there'll be a link to this down below if you want to dive in a little bit. Ireland, the Netherlands, Singapore, South Africa, the United Arab Emirates, United Kingdom, plus 18. What the hell happened in the United Kingdom that the, the most in-demand skill uh, jumped 18 spots? Uh, for <laughs> uh, United States. So again, cloud computing. Uh, Great, great thing to have on the resume. Mobile development is number three. Storage systems and management, user interface design, network and information security, middleware and integration, web architecture and development framework. So web development, even in the US, isn't as high up as it is in the rest of the world. Now keep in mind that some of these areas with the state of web development, some of these areas overlap, right? Like this might overlap a little with web development, mobile development might that overlap user interface design but you guys get the idea and you can see java's jumping dropping down algorithm design Ugh. Uh, <laughs> but web development's on its way up which is which is great for me um but uh last year they did a week of learning which they gave you a list let you do a bunch of courses for free i took advantage of of one although i never finished it um uh, but what what i want the point of this video is Keep an eye out for articles like this. If you're not already signed up to LinkedIn blogs where you get like a weekly email or Indeed, this is them sharing their analytics with you, man. That's really what it is. Where the real world, LinkedIn's the number one job site in the world. And if you don't think this has validity in the real world, you're, you're, you're sorely mistaken. And I highly encourage you to kind of follow the market. But it, And also, if you're not aware that there's other, there's other niches in software, other than web development, you have been informed, all right? There's there's project management, which is great as well. All these things you can make a good living on. They all have they all have um, high high pay rates, high benefits. They all are fun, interesting work. You're not gonna be bored with the same old mundane task every day. They all have their unique spin, but the thing they all have in common is they're all in tech and software, guys. And if, if, if you're on the fence, about should you become a developer or should you if you don't be, want to become a developer and that's fine it's not meant for everybody right um i have a very pessimistic sub that just says i don't want to be a guy that's you know nerded out in the corner you don't have to be that guy there's some of these roles are a little bit more creative go in a different direction but the world is changing guys and <clears throat> and if you want a good life and everyone's definition is different right my brother He's, he's, he's traveling uh, Asia. He just got done traveling Asia. And he's, after he comes visit me this weekend with my mom, he's going down to South America to travel. He doesn't give a shit about money, man. He's he's spending what, what he saved up for while he was in school. And now when he goes back, he's he's going to go and you know work some job that probably pays nothing because he, he doesn't have any technical skills. But that's not what is important to him. What's important to him is seeing the world. And what's important to him is working at nonprofits and you know, getting paid uh, money, that that's just for food and stuff. I understand that. So, I, so, but for me, what's important to me is being able to, to take luxurious vacations and buy food. And, and when my mom comes visit, to be able to pay for dinners and things like this, man. And I'm, I'm getting to, to all that. And it's because of choosing in-demand skills and choosing high-paying skills that I know that even if I were to get fired today for whatever reason or laid off, I have a job lined up that I don't even know about, right? So if you're thinking that this may not be for you, just understand that what what whatever you value, if see if you can work this into there because software and tech is only growing. 
There is no good. There's not going to be a tech boom, guys. <laughs> there is a bubble. It's only going to continue to boom for a while. And all the all the greatest innovations of the last 10, 15, 20 years, it's all software, man. And it's just going to continue to grow. But if you're not a developer, if you're like, hey, I don't necessarily like that. Maybe you're more of a hardware guy. You can go down that right. Design guy. Um, people person, project manager. There's a lot of different things and niches you can go into. And I encourage you to do the research and find out what those jobs are. And I hope that that this was one way of informing you. And uh, if you were on the fence or you wanted to give up just and you, you saw maybe this and you're like, shit, man, I got one of the top 10 skills I'm working towards. Keep moving forward, baby. So I hope you guys keep moving forward. I'll see you guys in the next video. And for the for the giveaway, and I know I'm behind. I got to do some, so don't think I, I'm not gonna give them out, guys. I, I just have been lagging. Lots of lots of stuff going on behind the scenes. We'll talk about it in an upcoming video soon. Um, the key word is keep going. So I hope you guys keep going, and we'll be giving away uh, a React course. So I hope you guys keep going. Thank you for watching. Join the Facebook group, the Patreon, all that great stuff. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.